everyone, welcome to this week's guitar lesson where we're going to be looking at Country House by Blur. This song is a Britpop classic and it was famously in competition with Oasis for the number one spot in the singles chart. Country House won, it's a great track and we're going to learn how to play it. If you haven't already, click subscribe, click the bell and you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson. So the first chord in Country House by Blur is a A major bar chord. But rather than play the full chord, we're going to play it like this. So what we're doing is we're hitting the top string twice and then we're going to hit the full chord. Okay, and once more. Next, we're going to move to our E major bar chord on the 7th and 9th frets. And again, we're going to do the same. So hit the top string of this chord twice. And then on the third time, follow through on the whole chord. Okay, and once more. And then we're going to move to a B minor bar chord. Okay, so we're essentially moving up back up to the top string. Again, we're playing it in the same way that we have for the other two chords. So, so far we've got A, E, and B minor. It's gonna sound like this. So after our B minor chord, we're gonna play a bit of lead guitar. There's a little fill in this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the seventh fret G, hammer onto the ninth fret, and then pull back off. And we're going to do this twice. And once again. And then we're going to go to the ninth fret D. So it sounds like this. Once more. Then it moves to a D major chord. And you probably guessed it, we play it in exactly the same way of the other chords. Next, we're going to move to a D over C sharp chord. So what we're doing here is we're taking our bar chords and we're going to move our little finger up. So it's essentially a D power chord now. And then we're going to shift our first finger over to the ninth fret. And again, we're going to go. So one, two. So we're playing it in the same way as the other chords, but this time on the third hit with our pick, Essentially, we're just hitting the E and the A, so. Okay, so from the D. And then we're gonna go to the C sharp major chord, and we're gonna go down, 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 up. And again, down, 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 up. So going from our D major chord, it sounds like this. So when we play our C sharp major chord, we're going to play a guitar feel again, similar to what we did after the B minor chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the 9th fret G, hammer on to the 11th fret G and pull back off. But this time we're going to go up to the 9th fret D and we're going to hammer on to the 11th fret D and then we're going to bend it down and back up. Okay, so it sounds like this. And again. And then it essentially repeats again. So let's go through this at a slow tempo. On the last time through of the verse, when we get to our C sharp major chord, we don't play the guitar fill afterwards. What we do is we play our chord and then we quickly move to the E major chord. And what we're doing here is we're hitting the low E string and then coming down throughout the whole of the chord. And we do it again. So last time around in the verse sounds like this.
It then moves to the chorus. So for the chorus, we start on our A major chord again, and we play it 12 times in threes. So it sounds like this. And again. And then we move to a E slash B triad, which is where you place your first and your second finger on the fourth fret of the G and the high E string. And then our third finger is on the fifth fret of the B, so it's like a D shape, but this time we only play it three times. So for all of these, we're just going down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. After this, we then move to a B minor six triad. So we adjust our fingers. So now our second and our third fingers are now on the fourth fret of the G and the high E. And our first finger is on the third fret of the B. And we play this three times. We then go back to the E over B chord. And then we go to a D sharp over A sharp chord. This is where we just move our shape that we've got here down one fret. So on its own, it sounds a bit odd, but if we pull it together, it sounds really cool. After these triads, we then go to a D major bar chord on our fifth fret, and we play this 12 times. And then we move back up to the A and play it 12 times. So all together, we play the A 12 times at the start. Then we play our triads. Then we go back to our D, play it 12 times. And then to our A and play it another 12 times. So essentially with this chorus, we play the A 12 times at the beginning and 12 times at the end. It repeats, so then we just stay on the A and play it another 12 times. Last time round of this chord progression in the chorus, so it repeats twice, we only play the A at the end seven times. So it sounds like this from the triads. And then it goes back into the verse. So the chorus all together sounds like this. So really important with this chorus is to make sure you get these triads. Get that movement correct. It can be quite difficult moving from our D shape to our B minor six triad, because we're adjusting our fingers slightly, but it's essentially all on the same string. So just take it real slow, practice those changes, and then add it in with the rest of our chords. So our A and our D. The only other part in this track is the bridge. So this is where everything kind of drops out. And what I do is I play this. Okay, so this is in the part where he is saying, blow me out, I'm so sad, I don't know why, that section there. So what we're doing for this section is we're going to the 17th fret on the high E, we're playing it once, and then we're gonna play it again. And then we're going to move up to the seventh fret B, play it again. And then we're going to go to the fifteenth fret B, play it again. And then go to the seventeenth fret high E. We repeat it again. Blow me out, I am so sad. And then the second time round, we then finish it with this. And then it heads back into the chorus. So what this is, is we're going to bar on the 14th fret of the D, the G and the B. And we're going to place our little finger on the 17th fret of the high E. We're going to pick the B, G, D and then the high E. And again. Then heads back into the chorus. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson of Country House by Blur. If you like this lesson click the like button 
If you click subscribe and then click the bell, you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson.